what's up, good people? It's me. It's me. A little bit unprepared, but I'm still the Z A double D Z Man Zaya Smith. Yo, I'm really excited for this match. I don't, I know me and Caleb have never had a match in the TV realm before, so I know this cat is a smart cat. He's the one titles before in other, in other division stuff. So this is def, I, def, I have no idea what's coming my way. But I fully respect my competitor, as you know, as I always do. They may call him the little boat, but he might be a ship in this match. That's fully what I'm expecting, because I know the dude knows the stuff. And yes, I want to win. Of course, I would love to keep on winning to get back to my championship, to get back my baby, my 24-7, 365, 7 -11. Sorry, I'm not going to do the whole R-Troop thing, but you know what it means. Because I do love the TV title. However, if Caleb ends up winning, again, I would not be surprised. And I will be rooting for him in the future so he can go win the TV title because it's always good to lose a future champion. Wink. But uh, <laughs> but I'm not planning on losing, hoping to win. But you know what's the most important to me. You know what's most important to ZAD. That, that this match is entertaining for you, the people. I don't know what we did wrong. I think this is what we call punishment. Uh, this is what happens when you fucking you you hosted my match with JTH and you ran your damn mouth, Boat. And now Tim Smith goes, "Fuck you! Here's the champ." God damn it, Boatman! Why do you do this to us? Uh, look, Zayce is uh, not the person we want to be playing today. Uh, he's held a belt. Uh, he's kind of maybe the best to ever play TV. So it's kind of hard. Multiple TV shows. Yeah, uh, we're kind of in a rough normal. boat here. Uh, Who has we time like to watch TV? I'm watching like fifty thousand movies. Like right now, I'll come. I can come back and win TV. But the problem is, I'm in my off season. This is the only time I get to watch TV. Uh, Zeiss, you're great. You're probably gonna kick our ass. But hey, we'll do our best to not lay down and die. <laughs> Zadius, I just want to say I'm very happy I get to play you because you're basically a cartoon character come to life and you're kind of awesome. Manage my man, let's play. Folks, we're back. Our second round two matchup. We saw the other one of uh, Aaron Sellers and Joe Harrison. That was a barn burner. So let's see if this one will be. Zadius is happy just to entertain and Caleb and Coho are pissed off thinking this is punishment, but let's get into it. I'm not joined alone in the co-hosting tonight. I like to take managers and put them in the co-hosting seat, and tonight, this is all we have. I wasn't Hello. even supposed to be here today. <laughs> uh, cool. I get to host TV. Is this, do, I get a, do I get a coupon for having hosted a match in every division this season? That's yeah, cool. let me let me get my uh, clipper somewhere. We'll punch a hole in there. I think I think yeah. you have I think you have the round table now. So. <laughs> I get a free hot fudge Sunday. Uh, this is gonna be a great match, and I'm excited to watch it. Actually, it's a free coffee. Sorry, oh, but fuck. maybe next year. Maybe okay. next year. Okay. Um, but it's a great match. You got your client in here, Caleb Boatman, who's yeah. been making a run, and of course you got Zadius in here, who I know you wanted JCH, but yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, we really would have preferred JTH, uh, but hey, Zaddy is, is a great competitor, and uh, Boatman has shown it time again. He he hangs in this TV division really well, so uh, it's going to be an exciting match. Yeah, if, especially if he gets his strengths, he could really hang. But we'll see what happens. Let's bring him in to get this started. First, former TV champion, he is Zaddyus Z Man Smith, and his opponent, he is. No longer ever allowed to host TV and get his free hot fudge Sunday next season. He is Little Boat, Caleb Boatman. I didn't get one for the oh. first time, so. He is Caleb, the blacklisted boatman. <laughs> You'll get your free coffee. Don't worry. It's a little coffee. All right. Oh. <laughs> but are you guys ready to get this started? As if I need any more coffee. I'm basically a squirrel at this point. Let's go. <laughs> All right, let's get I started. You know what this is. Is. <laughs> Three round matchup. Rules are simple. Round one works as such. Eight questions, eight predetermined shows. Competitors will have 15 seconds to answer said questions. They have their whiteboards. They will write it down. When called upon, they will show it and verbalize it. Correct answers are worth one point. There's no deductions or 
anything for incorrect answers. We all just silently laugh at you. And you get your three repeats and one challenge throughout the match. So are you guys set? <laughs> all right. Let's get ready to the first it. question. The Vampire Diaries. Name both spinoffs from The Vampire Diaries. I'll be completely honest with you. I didn't know there were any. I knew of one. I didn't know of the other one. Didn't didn't even know. I thought this thing died and lived with its parent show. <laughs> Apparently not. It really didn't. It's it's sad. Who's watching this? Who's watching this? <laughs> uh, apparently Zadius said... That's it. Oh, go five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Caleb Bowman. Vampire Diaries 2, Electric Boogaloo. And I don't have another one. And Zadius. I will watch it. I will watch it. Uh, the Originals and Legacies. That is correct. And I want to give Caleb a creative point for the end of the year total. Uh, to be added to his total career points. Uh, <laughs> your next question comes in Andy Griffith. What state is the fictional community of Mayberry located in? Because Caleb Boatman is old. He is a he is a Benjamin Button. It's surprising. Well, I wonder if he's, he's going to be a baby and be like the equivalent of a 120-year-old man. My thing is, I'm pretty sure th The Vampire Diaries is based off of Caleb Boatman's life. Pretty sure this man <laughs> just does not age. I wouldn't be surprised. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. He's going to outlive us all. Uh, Zadius. Is it North Carolina? That is correct, and Caleb Boatman. I had North written down, changed it to South. Oh! oh. I'm mad right. at myself. With that, we go into Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Your question. Name two of the three credited creators of the series. This finally came out on Netflix the last season. Caleb, I don't know if you care or watch this, but I haven't watched this show since its first season aired. Hmm. I watched the entire first season and went, "This kind of sucks." It take it it gets better in season two, and like especially the, once they stop following the movies. The idea of the show, cool. The execution of the show, boring as shit. <laughs> two, one, pens down. Um, All right. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. Kevin Feige. And Zadius. Zadius. Uh, I know Jay Whedon and I think her name is uh, Jay Whedon and Melissa Tancheroni. I know their husband and wife. I'm not sure if I spelled the registration or. You were close. You were close. Jed Whedon is one okay. of them. It's Marissa. It's all good. Yes. The so other one, I believe, is Joss oh, Whedon okay. himself. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So uh, okay. no one gets I any know, points no, there. On there for long, is real close. Yes. Yeah. All right. Your fourth question comes in cheers. Cheers. Who portrays Cliff the Mailman? Is, I, I'm very scared. To say anything, because I think I know which one this is, but the only way I could prove it is to sing the song, and I don't know if I need to do that right now. I kind of want to see that, but <laughs> sometimes you want to go where right. everyone knows your name. Three, okay. two, one. That is good, Caleb. That is correct. Pens down, folks. Let's go to Zadius first. Uh, this is wrong. I put Ron Perlman. Maybe he had a cameo. <laughs> that is wrong. Uh, Caleb Bowman. Welcome to the Himalayas, John Ratzenberger. That is correct. And Boatman's on the board. Ah, okay. Two to one. All right. Let's go uh, to our next him. question. Hello, him in himself. Community. And something happened. There you go. Yep. <laughs> All right. Community is your next question. And here it is. Jeff starts the study group to impress Britta. 
But who else does he ask to be a part of it, which in turn adds new members to the group? The show rocks. It is good. It it took me Boatman adding it on to like fully sit down and watch it and appreciate it what it's worth. So it is a uh, is one of my favorite television sh- series of all time. It's a great yeah. show. We'll go five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Boatman. Abed Nadir. And Zadius. I put Amy. Was it can't remember? Caleb gets it right. High game. Oh. All right. We go into our next question from The Flash. This is a finished quote. So listen to the whole quote, and then you'll finish that quote, and I'll let you know how many words it is. Okay. All right. Finish this Barry Allen quote. To understand what I am about to tell you, you need to do something. You need to believe the impossible. Can you do that? Good. You see that red blur? That's me. That's cool, huh? Oh, there I am again. My name is Barry Allen. I'm the fastest man alive. The story is pretty simple. My whole life, blank, four words, finish the quote. No one ask for a repeat. <laughs> You know what? God damn it, Bowman! I was trying. Fuck you. <laughs> I mean, it's it's no, kind of fair. It's kind of a fair giant question. <laughs> it's so big it won't fit into our document. I have to highlight it just to read it. Wow, it's a very long, very very. It's a. I mean, it's a great. It's a great quote. It's a great show. It's a very uh, great question Flash. too. Okay. Flash is a great TV show. We'll give you a little bit more time for this because. Uh, they both seem ready, so we'll just go five, four, three, two, one. I'm never acting again. Pens down. Zadia. I said changing the flesh. I don't know. <laughs> and Caleb. I said it is a fast ride. Both incorrect. The correct is I have been running. That's the end of that quote. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. All right. Let's go to the pent ultimate, pent ultimate, or the question before the last. In Riverdale, what is Jughead's last name in Riverdale? I've only ever seen the first season of this show, and that's because I watched it all in one day on Netflix. How you describe Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. season one is kind of like how I describe watching watching it. it I think it, Riverdale's first season is the only good one. It's like it's the only it's the only one where things kind of make sense. <laughs> Let's make yeah. a murder mystery in this town, and then in the next one, vampires. Wait, Let's go for five, vampires in that four, show? Dude, three, really? Aliens two, show up in Riverdale at some one, point. This shit's weird. Hands down, yeah, it's Archie. They took a shit right on Archie Comics. Uh, let's go to Caleb first. Caleb. Uh, I said Jones. That is correct. And Zadius. Jones. Both of them hitting. All right. Tied up at three to three. Your last question. Phineas and Ferb. What is the troop number for the Fireside Girls troop in Danville? Somebody actually watched this and sat down and watched it. I hate myself for it, but I sat down and watched it's it. It's a great Whoa. show. This show is great, Tim. What are you talking about? Phineas and Ferb is excellent. Maybe the stuff with the platypus running around solving crime, but that's about it. You you only like the Perry the Platypus stuff? You don't like Phineas and Ferb? No. I, that's weird. I, I, I like the... The crime. I mean, the Doofus Schwartz stuff is the best part in the show. Doofus Schwartz is the all-time greatest animated villain of all time. Just we'll go five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Bowman said sixteen. And Zadius. I put zero zero, but I drew a smiley face with it to stay positive. 
kind of looks like boobs, but the correct answer <laughs> is four six two three one. Four six two three one. <laughs> yes. <coughs> so we are all tied up at three to three coming in around one. Yes. Very hey, boobs are positive things too. All right, with that, folks, we go into round number two. And how that works is we have our lovely wheel that JTH does not own. We've proven that because Zadius is here. Um, each player will spin said wheel. If they don't like the first spin, they can spin again. Each category has four questions in it worth two points apiece. You can opt down to multiple choice, and there is stealing. So opponents play along. You'll get the chance to steal if need be. All of our strength shows are on the wheel tonight. Vampire Diaries, Andy Griffith, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Community, The Flash, Phineas and Ferb, and of course, everyone's favorite players and opponents' choice. With that, our wheel has been primed. We are tied. So, Zadius, since you have the high, higher seed ranking, you have the option to go first or defer. You got this, man. All right, true Brady Bunch moment. Thanks, Zach. Caleb Boatman, you are up. Your first spin is away. And it lands on we'll community. All right, he's taking community. So let's go to our community questions. Caleb, are you ready? All right, in the episode Basic Rocket Science, Dean Pelton meets with the study group, angry with them over the new logo design. He learns is a representation of what? All right, so you're looking that you're saying that the the flag looks like what? It looks like a butthole. Two points. All right, in the episode Paranormal Parentage, who locks himself in a panic room? Pierce. Two more points. In Basic Anatomy, Tony seems more enthusiastic about him and Abed's third year anniversary of seeing what movie? Do you mean Troy? Yes. Did I say Tony? Yes. Can I get a uh, repeat of the question? That yes. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Like, yeah, you yeah. said Tony. Yeah. In Basic Human Anatomy, Troy seems more enthusiastic about him and Abed's third year anniversary of seeing what movie? Freaky Friday. Two more points. In Introduction to Teaching, Jeff begins his first day as a professor of what? Law. Clean sweep. Eight big points. Woo! Right, will have some work to do. So that's eleven to three now, I believe is the score. Yes. That was a great job, dude. Great job. Yeah, thanks, man. All right. The ship is that on the is road right there. Community is off the board, but the other shows are still on. Let's spin this. Agents of Shield. Zadius. Kind of beat me last time, but yeah, I'll go for it. All right. Zadius is sticking with it. Oh, yeah, I'll go for it. Okay. All right. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., your first question. In the episode, Yes Men, what is the name of the deadly seduct or sed seductress that comes to cause trouble on Earth? Um, go five, four, three. Uh, could you repeat the question again? All right, repeat. First repeat. First repeat. repeat. repeat yes, in Yes Men, what is the name of the deadly seductress? That could you comes repeat? To college? Yes, I'm repeating right now, Zadius. He's lagging. Yes, yeah. yeah. Keep repeating. In Yes Men. What is the name of the deadly seductress that comes to cause trouble on oh, Earth? Yeah. Um, I think I know what multiple choice. All right. 
Your options are A, Multiple Sir Pan Pan yes. Option A, okay. Sir Panka, B, Lorelei, C, Delilah, or D, Tamil. Uh, Lorelai. Correct Lorelei. for a point. All right, your second question. What Lorelei? is the name of the... Yes, correct. Okay, cool. Your second question. What is the name of the secret team of individuals Daisy and Mac put together called? Did you hear the questions, Adius? Uh, it is going in and out. Uh, multiple choice. All right, I, I want to do. Uh, multiple Mul choice. Multiple choice. All right, multiple choice options: A, multiple choice. Humans, B, individual powers; C, secret warriors; or D, elite squad. Did they actually use this in there? I think they did. Uh, Secret Warriors. Correct for a point. It's him up to five. All right. Secret Warriors. Your third question. Sorry. When two factions of S.H.I.E.L.D. emerge after the Hydra uprising, who sends Mac, Bobby, and Hartley to infiltrate Coulson's S.H.I.E.L.D. faction? Um, Adrian Gonzalez. Correct for two points. Adrian Gonzalez. Yes. All right, Zadius, your last question. Where in San Juan do the team find the opening into the old Cree City? I just need a location in San Juan of where they find it. Underground? I mean, hopefully that counts. Has to be a little bit more specific. Underground? Uh, underground uh, Underground yes. city? Underground temple? Um, Incorrect. Caleb, a chance for a two-point steal. Let's see. In the sewer. It was under an old military garrison from the Spanish War. Okay, yeah. yes. Yeah, I, I definitely got it wrong. Yeah. yeah. So with that, that makes it eleven to seven in Boatman's favor. All right. Wait. Eleven to seven. Was still a close game. How many questions do we get in round two? Oh, well, there's four. That's why I just did math wrong. My V. Yes. Yeah. Co host your manager. He he I got your door, wrong. buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with that, it's 11 to 7 coming out of round two. Still close game. We go to round number three, which determines it all. How that works is we bring back up our wheel that just has all of our strength shows on it. Uh, the player behind always goes first. They will spin said wheel. Whatever it lands on, they can spin again if they don't like it. Uh, they'll have an, two options. They'll have two sets of questions. Uh, one, two, and a three-point question, or a two, four, and six question. They have to take a point value that gets them back in the lead. This is only a four-point game, so it's close. Uh, but if they do end up taking the second set, those questions can be stealable by your opponent. So with that, let's bring up our wheel. Zadius, you are behind. You will spin first on our primed wheel. Are you ready? Okay. All right. Yeah, everybody. First spin. <clears throat> Sorry. Can everybody see hear me good? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. First spin is away. Okay. 
Agents, Agents of Shield. Can I, can I just can hit me a little bit? But uh, I could get that. But then I could get that too, or that, or that. So one, two, or three. You know what, Hakuna Matata? Let's go for it. All right. Are you going to take one, two, or three, or two, four, and six? And two, four, and six are still by my opponent, right? Yes. You know what? If if I lose, I lose going going big. I'll go two, four, six. All right. I've never tried it. Big. Let's do it. All right. Your two point question in Agents of Shield. What are the names of Daisy's parents? Uh Jai Ying and Cal. Correct for two points. I don't think we ever got a last name for Jai Ying. Yeah. All right. Your four point question. What is the name of Phil's friend who is a commandante of the Policia Militare del Peru in the episode 084? Uh, okay, so it's going to come down to that. Um, is it, I think it was a female commandante. Uh, Liz? Can you say that again? Liz? Oh, uh, Liz? That is incorrect. Boatman, a chance for a four-point steal. I'm going to say Lisa. I am ashamed. Uh, it is Camilla Reyes. Camilla Reyes. Okay. All right, Sadius, you do need to hit this last question to stay in it and throw it back to Boatman. Your six-point question. Okay. What was the first... Zero eight four. Um, um it's like a Five. Uh, four, how many repeats do I have? Three, two. You got two repeats. One. Do I still have a repeat? Yes, you still have a repeat. 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 What was the first zero eight yeah. four? Well, technically, that was the first. Year. You know what? The first UA four was technically the uh, the the pre obelisk, the uh, the pre obelisk that in that had the human caps crystals inside of it, the Terrigen crystals inside of it. We find out in, in uh, which we will find out in season two. But, yeah, that is correct for six points. That is 15 to okay. 11. Bowman is down four going into his turn. Let's go back up to the wheel. Caleb, your first spin is away. Lands on community. I will keep that. Uh, am I allowed to confer with my manager? Yes, I don't know yes. You can, okay. you can still okay. use him as your manager. Take, take the one, two, and three because they're easier. You, that's six points. You only need four to tie. If you're the one, two, and three, you hit all of it. That's yeah. six points you win. All right. I'll go for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So you're taking the one, two, and three for community. Calm. All right. One point question. Who plays the role of Dean Pelton? Jim Rash. Correct for a point. Oscar winner and director of one of my all-time favorite movies, The Way Way Back. Point question. What band performed the opening theme song? The Mediate. Correct for two points. We are at 14 to 15, I do believe. Correct. So if he hits this three, mm -hmm. he wins the game. If he misses it, Zadius will win the game. All right. 
your three-point question. In the episode, G.I. Jeff, name four of the five G.I. Joe named characters that make up Wingman's unit. So I assume you're not including uh, Wingman himself, right? Or are you including Wingman? I don't know. I'll answer that on my own. So five, four, three. Three kids, tight ship, buzzkill, fourth wall. And your winner. Moving on to round number two. I'm sure you get there, right? Little Boat, Caleb Boatman. Coho, strong match from your client. Very close. Thanks, man. I did not think I was going to win. But with that, he, he knew he knew his stuff. Let's go to post match interviews, yeah. and we're coming. Zadius losing a close one by one point, but that's the way she goes sometimes. But I do have some news: you are not done this year. You will be okay. involved in a special match that will consist of yourself, Caleb Boatman, Caleb Coho, and Brooklyn Vale. Okay. It is called Jim's is Choice Match. The winner Ooh. of that match will face Jim Green in his very last TV throwdown appearance. Okay. Okay. The winner that beats Jim Green will earn next season, anytime they want to use it, a number one contenders match for the TV title. But wow. they, only, they can only use it up to the end of next season. Mm -hmm. Yo, that's great news to hear. Uh, I did think my season was over now, but I, I like that little twist right there. And I feel like I need something in the force is telling me I need to watch Terra Nova. <laughs> <laughs> but, yo, that, that, well, that's well, great news. Yeah, and you won't see no Terra Nova, but <laughs> we'll explain the rules more once. You know, we get the tournament wrapped up and everything, but mm -hmm. it's not over for you, Zadius. You still have another opportunity. <laughs> yeah, that's dope, man. That's cool. And I, that's, that sounds like it's going to be a fun match. I have no idea what's going on in his head, like what he thinks, about, what he's thinking about. So that's just going to be fun to, uh, to play in. That's going to be awesome. Oh, yeah. But with that, uh, we'll see you in that match once we get it set up, Zadius. Yeah, uh, one second. I just want to. Uh, just you know, good job, Caleb. You did a great job tonight. I slipped up with some with some of mine in round two. You completely uh, seized the day. Carpe the DM today. Good job, man. Go and take get that title, and then maybe I won't have to face you in this Jim Green's mystery match. <laughs> yeah, but again, good job, homie. <laughs> All right, we're back with our winner and his manager. You've won. You've made it to the finals. Um, would you like to know who you're facing? Um, Wait, we're in the finals. Uh, what? Wait, this is the, this that is was the a semi. This was a semifinal. Holy yes. shit! Yes. Oh shit! I thought this was a sixteen, not an eighteen. Uh, okay. No, it was only an eight. I started off small for the very first one, Caleb. That I like is, to start small. That is very fair. Uh, so hey, uh, shit, finals. What? Uh, who are we playing? Uh. You are playing Joe Harrison. Okay. He okay. himself has beaten a former TV champion and worked okay. his way into it, beating a very hot rookie. So that's who you're facing in the finals. Okay. Uh, yeah, good luck. Mark good of derision in Caleb Boatman's face. No, that's no. I, I think that I, I have not seen Joe in a long time, and I'm excited. Um, so this should be fun. He, he played great today. So he uh, did. I, okay, no, no, no. Here's the thing. 
Zadius rightfully won this match. Zadius probably is the better player nine times out of ten. It just happened that I knew more about community than Zadius knew about Agents of the Shield. That's yes. what and the wheel the wheel just stayed on those two categories. <laughs> and I think that's what got you through on that was the love of community. I, guess. I mean, I will say that three point community question was a tough one and you nailed it. So I was sitting here just like, okay, okay, Jesus. All right. Mm-hmm. So I'm proud of him. But you're going to have a pretty busy end of the season, Caleb, because you also do have a Jim Green uh, so open invitation. Did you the four people in that match? I think he did, yeah. Yes, yes. He requested. Oh, I love you, buddy. He came, to me, he came to me and requested, I want to beat one of these four schlubs. Fair. His words, not mine. Fair. Honestly, so, Jim Green calling me a schlub is like being insulted by Don Rickles. Like, it's an honor. But I did add this stipulant. If anyone does beat Jim, they get that special little prize. So it could it could be Zadius. It could be you both. It could be Caleb Coho. We don't know. Caleb Coho in the number one contenders match. All I'm saying is if you thought Letter Kenny was my secret strength, I got something new that Jim's going to fucking wet himself over. So here we go. Oh, wait till I explain the rules. You're really going to love those once we get all together for that. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> all right. Well, it's, it's a special match, so the, the, those rules only apply to this match. But We have to get over him with so yeah. uh, Well, congratulations. We'll see you in the finals. You guys get going and defend your team titles. All right, we're back at the desk with myself. You know what? We're bringing in Zadius, too, to finish this bitch out. Uh, great match. I was really hoping hey, you were going to win, Thaddeus. I wanted to see you get back to the title, but unfortunately, Boatman. What, why I can't put myself over is Marissa and Melissa. That yeah. that's going to piss me off. And, yeah, I, I really hmm. think that would have that would have changed things. I think. Yeah, but it, it's it's that, all that, good. And then the, and, and then round two, I got my strength. I I I whiffed on that underground city one. And, and this and, and it's completely legit. It just wasn't in my head. So and I should have should have multiple choices, but I felt like I needed the points right there. So I just went ahead for it. So no, I'm I'm glad to see some new blood in the title race. Yeah, yeah. It's I you know <laughs> Caleb and Caleb. <laughs> I just oh, uh, but I'm sure Joe. I'm sure Joe Harrison will easily knock. It knock them both out because he has proven to be a very tough competitor defeating Alec Miller, the one who beat you, mm-hmm. and beating Aaron Sellers, who's had a stellar run so far up to uh, last week's match to get that far. So, I mean, I I think it's going to be good. Um, I, I think they're both equal on the kids' shows, but we'll see what happens in the finals, I guess. Um, so I think for that, uh, we'll close it out. We'll end it here. I have been Tim Smith, of course, joining me, Zadius, because everyone else left, and I said, fuck it. Uh, <laughs> our winner, Boatman, his manager, Macaulay Culkin, and we'll see you <laughs> next time for the finals or whatever color he decides to change his hair to next. See you guys later. And remember, TV teams coming next season. <laughs>